Hi guys and uh, welcome to the channel. There's been some recent posts about the validity of 3D printed fuselages for helicopters. So I want to just dispel some myths and misconceptions and they look there's basically two kinds of fuselages. One like this which has a uh, tail motor so there's no boom inside here the fuselage is the boom and the other is one like this where there's a tail boom running right through and this is basically just a shell around the helicopter yeah so I can understand the uh, the acceptance of this type of shell possibly more than this where the structure is relied on heavily um, but anyway I've just made a short little video which I'm gonna just put into this video unfortunately it's in portrait mode but uh, you get the point where I show you how strong this actually is yeah but let's go fly and uh, see what can happen We'll, we'll start with this, which could be your typical T-Rex uh, kind of vibe. So you've got a full chassis with a tail boom and basically just a shell around it in atti mode here. A uh, bit of a breeze coming from that side, not a problem. Uh, one, two, three, and run. I always like to stand just a little bit back in case, you know, anything happens. Oh, there we go. So, um, just testing the GPS there quickly. I would say that this is probably a bit more acceptable. How's it going? But something like this obviously won't affect, affect basically anything at all. Except for if it's very heavy that might uh, make a bit of a difference. But as far as stability is concerned, nothing has changed, nothing will change. So if the, um, the folk that don't trust this, if they would trust any one of these types of fuselages, this might be the one that they trust. Because as I say, it's got its own tail boom and the fuselage around here is basically just a sock. Um, so nothing changes as far as stiffness is concerned yeah so this uh, I would say this is this is more than a, this is acceptable you know in that sense you can f look I don't fly upside down and stuff but this you could uh, work upside down inside out do whatever you want be absolutely no drama whatsoever um, so yeah, so this uh, this is one type, and let's just talk uh, while I'm flying because I do want to enjoy myself a little bit. Let's talk about vibration. I've seen some of these uh, 3D printed fuselages. They're on the ground. They're just about to take off, and there's a huge, a huge vibration, uh, and yet they continue to try and take off. You know. If that was happening to me, I would stop immediately to see what the issue is. Why is it vibrating? You know, did I mount it correctly? Are the blades balanced? Is the shaft straight? Did I glue together properly? And then they crash and then they blame the 3D print, which has got actually nothing to do with anything. It's got more to do with the way it hasn't been built. Now today is very windy, there's going to be a bit of a gust just now, which is quite exciting. I always love these exciting, uh, exciting gusts. 
you know, uh, gives you a little bit of adrenaline. Full speed, almost hit that bird. I mean, you can you can whack this around as much as you want. Nothing's going to happen. And if you do have vibrations, I would suggest that you sort those out first. Because, of course, if your whole body is vibrating, sure, it will uh, probably disintegrate, which uh, I've also had, you know, but that was purely down to an oversight on my part, where I didn't uh, print something strong enough, or I had the tail prop mounted on backwards, which can happen. Because I flipped, I flipped the tail from left to right, and I didn't put the right prop on, and the thing just uh, completely disintegrated. But the 3D fuselage took the brunt, the brunt of the force, and within half an hour, I 3D printed the broken part, beefed it, I put the right prop on, and off it went. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. This thing really is uh, quite a quite a trick to fly. Quite a trick. I really like it, especially with this little slip on the fuselage. Quite nice. This is, of course, the old Airwolf um, converted to gear. I do test these, and if someone ever has an issue with one of them. I endeavor to uh, sort the issue, address the issue, um, but under normal circumstances I will print this myself and uh, while I'm at it, if there's anything that needs to be addressed, I'll address it and alternatively I'll send these out to some testers that uh, I trust that can print well. They're not going to print it badly, under extruded and then blame the print. No, these people know how to print and they will let me know uh, if there's an issue because I can't print every single uh, fuselage uh, because it's just too many so sometimes I do send them out look I don't make a big drama about it I just say hey George, Peter, Dave do you mind printing this for me and letting me know if there's a uh, any issues, does it assemble well, does it need a lip, does it need a flange and then uh, we take it from there and then uh, I upload them and whatever you know so yeah okay so this is uh, type 1 and I'll be back with the other fuselage shortly as soon as I've had some fun okay so this would be the um, other type of fuselage which is basically all-encompassing so it relies heavily on the structure of the actual fuselage so I'm going to put that little video up now that I made earlier look it is in portrait mode just bear with me and I'll get back to you soon hi guys I just want to make a quick video on uh, 3d printed helicopter parts uh, this is a boom that I printed in error it was supposed to be for another model so it's just been lying around the table here for about six months. I deal with a lot of um, mechanics and builders because I 3D print also some parts for their machinery and whatever, whatever. And I asked, and these some of these guys are pretty burly, burly chaps, eh? And particularly the one guy who was a plumber. He was, no, he was really well sorted. I said, dude, can you please try and break this? Now this is uh, just a piece of the tail boom. It's uh, 1.2 millimeter thick, two, two walls, PLA plus, and I said, please tr try and break this. Of course, if you stand on it, sure, but I'm going to just, I mean, <coughs> I just cannot break this, and uh, I've been flexing the original fiberglass body, I've been trying to flex it like this, and it actually pretty um, thin. I think that uh, fuselage must be 0.8 millimeter thick. Uh, this is 
pretty sturdy. I mean, it takes a lot of force to bend this. And uh, don't forget, when you glue this together, there's, a, there's always a little uh, join in there. And when I did have a long one and I had much more leverage, it actually broke next to the glue join. It didn't even break on the glue join. It broke next to it. But this piece, I mean, I've had guys that are much stronger than myself trying to break this. <coughs> and there's just no way. Another thing, another thing I want to mention is here's a fully loaded helicopter, 3D printed. And I'm going to pick it up in a very unnatural position. Now, the battery's in, everything's in. Uh, there is a glue joint here, yeah? and this is not a normal way to hold a helicopter, but that's besides the point. What I am trying to demonstrate is the helicopter balances on the shaft, yeah? like this. And the only force that this actually needs to exert is to push the tail. I can actually blow on this. That's how little force this actually exerts. But besides that, when I put it on the table and I try and I try and twist, I'm, I'm trying to twist it like this now, right? And there's no, there's no lattice in here or anything. It's just a couple of these. So one, two, and straight to the fuselage over there. And I'm trying to twist it here. And there's literally no movement here. When I do that to an original fiberglass fuselage, I can actually do this to it. So... To those that are saying this is not strong enough, also I want to say, put, let's let's talk vibration quickly. If you've got vibration, then it's the blades that are not balanced, it's your shaft that's uh, not straight, it's something that's loose over here possibly causing vibration, it's a badly mounted uh, chassis, but uh, this particular design is, is mounted solidly on the base, it's got a brace on top, just like the original, so it all forms part of the whole thing. So when you're flying, uh, it, it pivots around the center point here. So there's no there's no stress here. So if you've got vibration, um, then I would suggest that you sort that out first, because then that's that's not the the 3D printed part. That's uh, that's your mechanics. That's not not happening. Your blades are too tight or whatever it is, you know. But I just wanted to show. How strong this stuff actually is. I had an old fiberglass fuselage here and I had a very similar piece to this. It wasn't mine, it was somebody else's. And I took it and I just snapped it right in half. So, there we the go. a flat battery in here so this might not even last. So the amount of force it takes to hold this tail in place, as you saw in that little video, is absolutely minimal. It takes just a mere breeze to, uh, to move it. So it's not like the whole helicopter is flying on this tail motor. The helicopter is balancing basically right in the center on the shaft. So it's just pivoting around its center point and it takes very little force. So there's, it's not like the whole fuselage is stressed because there's a tail in there. Um, and yeah, look, I don't know what more to say besides that. If you print it properly, uh, if you don't have under extrusion, look, it's getting a little bit choppy now. Uh, then I don't see that there should be any problem with this sort of a, a fuselage at all. If there's no vibrations, then you should be good to go. Okay, it's getting a little bit choppy now for me, so I'm going to just bring her in. But yeah, I think uh, unless you try it, you know, don't uh, judge it unless you've uh, actually tried printing one of these. And uh, if it's not for you, then it's not for you. You know, what What can I say? Guys, I'm going to just bring it down because I can see this is going to be a bit of a drama. There's the battery anyway. So yeah, thanks for joining. We'll see you 
we'll see you soon. Yeah, this battery obviously, I thought I put the right one in.